To calculate the formal charge for each atom in H2O, we'll use the equation here and we'll go through each atom. So we'll start with this hydrogen right here. We have hydrogen and hydrogen is in group one on the periodic table. That means it has one valence electron. So we'll put a one here and then unbonded. These are the electrons that aren't part of a chemical bond. Hydrogen doesn't have any unbonded electrons. All of its electrons, or I should say its electron, is shared here in the bond with oxygen. So we'll put a zero there and then one half of the bonded electrons. So this line here represents two bonded electrons. So two, we're going to divide that by two to get half. And when we add these up, one minus zero minus one is zero. So the formal charge on the hydrogen is zero. We'll put it up here in parentheses. This hydrogen is symmetrical, so we can also say that its formal charge is going to be zero. For the oxygen, oxygen's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. Unbonded electrons, it has one, two, three, four unbonded valence electrons. And then bonded, it has two plus two, it has four. So we'll put four over two, and we have six minus four is two, minus four over two, two minus two is zero. So the oxygen also has a formal charge of zero. So those are the formal charges for H2O. Fairly simple example, but shows you how to use the formal charge equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.